tell you the secret of butternut. The secret of butternut is... Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I'm happy. I mean, my face is happy. You can tell. <laughs> the weight is going down, but very slowly, very slowly. But I look different every time and i'm happy about that today i'm gonna be a little bloated because it's that time of the month but i know i know with the way my clothes fit i know i know anyways guys today i'm gonna be sharing with you guys what i eat in a day i'm gonna be showing you my full day of eating this time i'm hoping that i'm not gonna slack off as time goes on to pick up the camera so it's the morning and i'm getting breakfast ready for the entire family i'm there with my half of my family there hey are you guys excited are you, ex you swimming oh yeah <laughs> Oh yeah, hey, Joshi. I'm gonna be making bread. This is a very common fry. It's fried bread. I decided to really not shun food. Is that the right English? I decided not to shun eat food because I feel like if I stop eating food, am I gonna do it for the rest of my life? Because Dad, I'm Dad, that. I want cake. I no, want you cannot be eating cake. My miss, my mix making you um bread. I was thinking to myself, am I going to be able to leave this food for the rest of my yes, life? I don't, I don't believe in quick fixes because I've lost weight before without cutting any food. I was like, I better do it the same way. Yes, it's going to go at the pace of a snail, but you know what? I'll get there eventually. It took me like nine months last time. So I'm going to be realistic and expect to lose my full weight in the course of nine months, 10 months, or even a year because... That way I'm happy because I noticed that if I cut food, I'm not gonna be happy. I tried the intermediate fasting and I was not happy. I went back to eating my food because I was a lot more hungry because I'm working hard. I'm lifting weights. Look at that. <laughs> I'm dramatic and let's make bread. I'll keep on telling you all the gist of everything and all that stuff. After I lose approximately 10 pounds i'm gonna make a sit down video telling you exactly what i do what i did but at this point since going slowly i'll just show what i eat so that you can know that maybe i should cut that maybe now it's eating too much carbs and by the way if you're gonna say i'm eating too much carbs keep that comment to yourself because carbs are coming in this video so guys i just finished kneading i want to show you my mom's trick because i want to, them to eat this food in one hour so this means that this bread has to rise in an hour, get ready within an hour. Don't mind the outside, it tastes so good. You're gonna see later. So what I do, my mom taught me that you actually let hot water run. I'm gonna let hot water run. Woo, it's hot. And then I, I, I put it here. As you see, this is hot water. I put it on hot water, so it's gonna rise faster. So the dough has risen, and that means it is time to start going to go and make the boys their favorite mommy's breakfast. My kids love, love this breakfast. Show me your love like it is, like it is, and open my heart like it is. So let me taste it. Let me let me do taste test. Hmm, it's actually very nice. If you know, if you've been watching me for a long time, you know that I have a cookbook. And by the way, that cookbook is an e-cookbook. It's not a hard copy book. So the cover of this page is when I was making this. And we have them in, the, in our cookbook, right? Yeah, we have Yeah, we have it in our cookbook. So that's what I'm going to be eating. So right now I'm going to make eggs and and by the way I will link down my cookbook in the description below for anyone that is interested. It's an e-cookbook because I've had people ask me is it a hard copy or e-cookbook? It's a e-cookbook. Um, but it has everything that I love eating. And as I was saying, I decide I at my weight loss. I did a lot of research. They say that if you're gonna lose weight, make sure that you do something that you're gonna be doing for the rest of your life. I asked myself, can I give 
up this this is called my and my language can i do this for the rest of my life the answer was no i was like okay i'm incorporating everything that i love and i cannot eat brown rice every time i prefer white rice i've had people comment in this channel saying that well you should not be eating white rice i couldn't leave it forever so i decided to just eat everything that i like in moderation anyways that now i'm going to make some eggs and i'll show you what i'm eating after it's done there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping This is what I'm having, I'm having it with coffee and my Louisiana hot sauce And this is gonna be my best meal of the day, breakfast It takes some time to cook, but delicious right now time for lunch and what are we making love <laughs> barbecue chicken breast and butternut squash yes and rice for the boys and as for the boys if they know me for a long even if you watch any of my videos of cooking you know butternut squash is going to be there Butternut squash is my family from Botswana. Even here, my husband loves butternut squash. So we love everything squash. And it's fall. It's fall. Wait for my pumpkin recipe because I'm going to get a pumpkin. I'm excited. Let me know if you'll be interested in those kind of videos like pumpkin, fall, foods that are very, very delicious, healthy, and low calories. I got you. I got you. When it comes to this squash fall stuff, one of my subscribers asked me, why is fall your favorite? I'm like, it's the leaves. The leaves are looking beautiful, but also the food. It's all squash. It's squash, 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 squash. So, honey, you know, cut the whatnot for, for me. The squash, squash, the butternut squash is hard to cut in half because I'm not cutting in small pieces because I want, I want it to be fast. So, mister is cutting for me. Yeah. If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Good job! How did you mind taking out the gas for me? Thank you. This is some organic, nice butternut squash. And let me tell you the secret of butternut. The secret of butternut is cinnamon. And if you want, because I'm trying to have it very low calories. Um, if you want, okay, let me tell you if you are not counting calories like I am. If you want to make it a lot more tastier. I mean, take a brush and then melt a little bit of butter. And then rub butter around it. And then put a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, so my husband just finished off with his butternut and now we're gonna be like putting it in the oven at 400 degrees Celsius. No, the house will burn down. <laughs> 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't even think that it's over that is 400 degrees Celsius. I don't think so. 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then we're gonna be baking them for like 25 minutes or 20 minutes depending on how soft it because we're gonna be checking it so now as i was saying if you are not counting calories or you just don't mind making or you just want it to be a lot tastier what you can do you can bake it like for 10 minutes to make it a little soft and then as it gets soft you can um no okay you can melt butter and then use a brush put it around the butternut squash right okay my husband is there putting it in the oven you can do that and then after you brush it with 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 um butter butter is better than olive oil when it comes to butternut squash i've tried both and i can tell you that butter is better as far as taste and then when it's almost done like left with five minutes like still soft then sprinkle a little bit of um 
what is that sugar called we call it ice and sugar but i think americans call it differently what do you call it honey brown sugar no the soft one white one that is very very smooth oh powdered sugar powdered sugar is, is this confessional is that called confessional something okay powdered sugar and yeah you sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar yeah confectioner's sugar hey i'm very I, I don't I'm, I'm not gonna do that to mine but maybe my husband will later it's the soft soft one right and then you sprinkle a little of, of cinnamon and then you put it for the last five minutes or so that is gonna be good and you can even have a little stick of butter on top of it if you want to go extra but let me tell you since my husband is making chicken breast what mine is gonna do after it's done i'm not adding anything on it and then the chicken breast with the saltiness is just gonna be enough and the best one if it wasn't because i'm lazy to just like make a big meal i was gonna make ground beef and then you just top it with ground beef perfect so let's bake this for 30 for the 25 to 30 minutes and then my husband in the meantime is gonna be making the chicken breast bigger okay take away the 30 minutes let's say 40 minutes <laughs> i thought in five minutes it's just, it is more time mm, looks great so you're gonna add brown sugar on yours Sugar and butter. Mmm. That that sounds appetizing. So my husband is making his. Mmm. You know what? Let me take a little stick like this for mine and then just rub it around like this. Just rub it. Rub it, honey. Rub it. And that's a lot of butter. You want it like soaked in butter. As you see, my husband wants his soaked. Butter makes butternut starch quite taste really, really yummy. This is my meal, Brussels sprouts and maybe like five to six ounces of chicken breast and then that half butternut squash and yes, some of you may say, no, that's a lot, but that's the whole point because when I eat and I'm full, my next meal is going to be dinner. If I just eat tiny, I'm going to be hungry so far. So this is the meal. You calculate it, huh? I don't know. I think 400 and something. Yeah. It's not much at all. Yeah. Oh no, this <laughs> oh my it is still very hot. You see how it's just falling apart like that? That is hot. Wait, no dear wait. And this is what I'm eating. So we have the rice with teriyaki and chicken, butternut squash, baked, and then Brussels sprouts. Hi, 
Hello. Very, very feeling. And oh my goodness, you, um, I love you guys that you usually try my recipes to see if I, what I said is right okay last time i posted a video where i shared my what is it called my lentil soup i was shocked a lot of you came to me saying no actually i added okra to mine no no don't do that someone was saying i added okra to mine you are the woman of your words you know what you're talking about when you say food is very delicious and stuff now take my word on this one it's very 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 filling like i'm so full almost stuffed because some of you may say there was a lot of food that's the whole point because i want to be full because when i'm hungry i'm feeling miserable and it was a lot and some of you because i know my subscribers some of you say they hate uh, <laughs> brussels sprouts a lot of you say no you can never convince us to eat brussels sprouts you can replace those veggies with anything that you like of your choice like cauliflower like broccoli or mixture of both and all that this dish is phenomenal if you don't eat meat even better to reduce your calories but for me meat has to be there and yeah so that's the meat that's lunch and i'm going to be drinking lots of water throughout the day this meal was very 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 filling yeah. and very nice guys oh oh my goodness after this we're gonna do a family nap huh. is that even possible for yeah. us yeah. you think i can get all everyone to sleep yeah. shut the door <laughs> my kids never have a nap i don't They'll know sleep. yeah michael will Although you're gonna pay the price tonight. When our kids have naps, they don't sleep all night. Please, parents, let me know if you can relate or oh, it's just my son. My son, my little one, when we give him a nap, he sleeps around 12 midnight. But when we don't give him a nap at all, he sleeps 8 o'clock, he's done. So, do you relate or oh, my baby is just too playful? Look at him. What are you doing with the spoon set? Are you eating? Say hi. Oh my goodness. I'm in love with this chair. Ah, this high Yeah, you say no. This high chair, we bought it for $20 at one of the garage stores. Right? And it is perfect. Say hi guys. Are you guys done? Is it? Is it look at just Caleb took out the, the meat? Sit down nicely, Mr. Lefty. Caleb, the only meat that he likes is um chicken thighs and stuff. It's too lean for him, I guess. <laughs> Let me eat. Oh, you're eating it? Good job. So why did you take it out so that you can eat it? No, honey, take that back. He's actually eating it. And you? Say hi. Oh, ah, hi, 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 and my kids, of course, they are with me because they cannot miss food. I, I'm in the bedroom right now. So here they are. Let's see. Hey, I tried those chips. I was impressed, but not very impressed. They are good. They are more, they taste healthy. <laughs> they don't taste like chips. But they give you the satisfaction of chips. I think that's what they were made of. It was my first, but I like them. Joshua loves them. Caleb refused to taste them. I don't know if my husband gave some to Michael, but Joshua loves, loves them. Anyways, I'm about to start having dinner and I'm craving something like coffee with um, something. I like tea, whether it's coffee. Coffee that I drink is not the one that people call coffee. It's just from Nestle, from Nestle. So I think I'm going to just have either coffee or tea 
with leftover fried bread in the morning and i was thinking should i have it with with thans with thans with thans i think i'm gonna have it with with thans and almond butter because that's gonna be a little lower on the calorie side the, the, looking at the fact that i had bread but let me see what i'm gonna fix myself and then i'll show you my dinner but nights let me tell you the truth about nights nights are always what i really think what do i eat i don't prepare for nights and that's where i usually fall i will be doing well in the morning just eating well just counting my calories and then at night sometimes i'll just like want something else so honey are you gonna have coffee? Are you gonna make one? Make me white coffee. Yeah, coffee. Thank you, honey. He doesn't drink coffee. I don't even know why I'm asking him if you have coffee. <laughs> That's how I'm asking nicely. So, should I have withens or should I have the bread? Withens, right? Withens. Yes. No, not withens. Confidence. No, I don't mean withens. I mean confidence with them. Um, with um peanut hey, almond that? butter a tablespoon of almond butter and coffee that? that's what i think i'm gonna eat and let's see so what are you having yeah. donut they call it donut but this is we call yeah. it yeah. fat yeah. cakes yeah. and these are actually apples from our backyard these are the contents that i eat so i'm gonna fix them up and i'm gonna show you how it looks like so basically what i'm gonna do i'm gonna spread them there is three servings and it's three servings for one calorie this helps me not to eat a lot of bread of course they cannot match my bread but they give me that thinking that i've eaten something crunchy something like bread or something like that so i put a tablespoon of almond butter and the almond butter that i use is this one from costco and yeah this um they taste decent they taste better than rice cake i don't know how people can eat rice cake please tell me i'm not the only one because my husband told me that when he was one time in his bodybuilding competition he had to eat rice cakes confidence tastes 10 times better than rice cakes in my opinion let me know if you've ever tried confidence before but i think they're better so this is oh. okay my kid is joshua is showing off his orange so this is how it looks like Two just spread in my almond put two oranges love my orange i mean oranges my you spread it to put like almond butter like this have this feeling this is the same coffee that i had in the morning this time it doesn't have almond milk but instead i put goat milk because i was just craving goat's milk i just tested one of the boys bread There's totally big difference. But bread. <laughs> My son is like, duh! <laughs> it's a big difference. Confidence, mm -hmm. they have since they're 70 calories compared to how much. I forgot how much, but that's a lot. But that's that's possibly like over half. No. Really? <laughs> 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 you know, we are in camera mode these days. <laughs> 